Okay guys, it's Elkskins with Flash. We're gonna get this into the shed because it's still a little moist out here. I gotta clean up the shed a little bit and we'll uh, disassemble it. Uh, clean up the bench, throw the transmission up there, clean up stuff. You know, the usual. So, let me uh, get s started and we'll go from there. Okay, guys, the hubs are on. I nicked the paint trying to get them on, but I'm not worried about it. So, the pulley's on, the brake drum's on, but... I'm getting sidetracked. What I turned the camera on is to let you guys know. This is not the first time this transmission's been out of this tractor. Because I put silicone in here. But there was a thin layer on it already. Plus, this is supposed to be the stock shim. That goes there and here. Here, does that look like a stock shim to you? Because that looks like a split washer to me. So I'm going to find a, just a regular round washer to put on here. And that will work. So. It's getting really close to going back in the tractor. So, I got to find some bolts, because I'm going to replace these three, and then I'll be back after we get the other transmission out. Alright guys, I'm pulling this trans a little bit different. I'm going to get the back plate off first, and uh, we'll go from there. You can see everything is all wet. And I figured it out. It wasn't gear oil. It was leaking. It was uh, diesel oil. Because the diesel oil seeped through the uh, uh, seals. Because it's so thin. So. It happens. I'm trying to find my uh, breaker bar. I don't know where it went. Thought it was in the one bag. But. Yeah, because I just had it the other day. All right, guys, let me continue. All right, guys, I'm spreading a bead of silicone around the outside of the transmission where it seals up. I know it's not recommended. I know it's not proper to do it, but I don't care. I just want to do it for added um, protection. So... The transmission is being held in by three of the however many bolts it has. So, the two on the brake and the one on top. That's all it's being held in by right now. So, I'm going to get under there and finish that up. And then I'm going to put the back end on. And then we'll go from there. And we also have to do the brakes. Because remember, I took it all off to put that one in because of the drums so it's gonna look good but all right guys uh see you in a bit all right guys gear let's try the granny gear
more. This is the best it's ever shifted. It's going right into gear, no problem. Now it's time to put the three point on it. After we check for, for leaks and stuff, there is some wet fluid underneath because of uh, filling it. All right. Doesn't look bad at all. Looks really good. So... It does need a new belt, but I ain't worried about it. So, I think it's uh, good. There's the uh, one I temporarily stuck in it. Um, between those two, they're going to get tore down. You know, the other one is underneath that oil drain pan. Uh, between those two, they're going to get drain, uh, pulled apart and the better of the two put together. So. <clears throat> May end up, oops, it helps if I get my, uh, fingers out of the way. So. May end up, uh, putting all new bearings. Uh, and whatnot. I think I found a kit for it. And, uh, we may end up doing that between those two. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to get this thing back into, uh, where I can work it. And, uh, I'll, uh, round it out after I run it a little hard and see what happens. All right. Everything's looking good. So, like and subscribe. Um, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.